Hi there, Matt here with Penley's Plentiful Pets Arizona Fish Rescue. We're out here in Arizona on the outskirts of Kingman, Arizona with Marty. Great. Marty. This is my assistant, Adriana. We've got this big, beautiful pond. Sadly, the pump and everything shut down, so it's time to break down the pond, rescue the koi, goldfish, whatever is inside of there. I don't even know what's inside of there. We can kind of figure out together. Thanks for tagging along, and we're just kind of do what we normally do. So thanks for following, y'all. So the first thing we want to get all of the hoses, we want to get the hose drained. This is going to start draining. We want to get the tote set up and then go from there. So we'll get everything out of the back of the car, hun. Thank you again, Marty. Appreciate you getting a hold of us. So then Raven, you just follow through and act like we're not even here. Or you're not even here. Aha. And normally I wear shoes, but I'm rocking the flip flops today just in case I got to hop in the pond. We have a tote, we have towels, electrical hose. I'm going to pull our pump out to help drain the that. Here's the tote for the fishies. Put everything in here. Maybe use the lids to chase the fish. We'll see. They're saying it should be pretty easy. Another tote and our hose. All right, I'm going to take this one, hon. Would you be so kind to grab that one? Raven, try not to get license plates, okay? Awesome. So how long have you had the pond up and running? Oh, man. Yeah, I've got two. That's awesome. They get a lot bigger than you expect. Most fish do. It's Unless they're like in the tetra, a little tropical family. Do we have another plug-in spot? We brought an extension cord, too. Okay, she's grabbing the tote with all the extension cords. Thank you, thank you. And then extension cords are in that other one. Wherever we want to go with this. Here. Yep. So put this stuff on it. I'm klutzy. It's just how I am. Extension cord, please. You never know what you'll run into. We've done this not so many times with the ponds, more tank wise, but done a few with the ponds. And if we need an even longer cord, let me know. Uh, I think to be able to toss in there, yeah. Let's unplug it real quick, please. Let's get the white cord. And this is why we have a million cords. <laughs> Sorry, plug in and a plug in and a plug in. Yeah, I got longer ones too. Yeah, I still have two more. <laughs> All right, before I toss that in there, let's get this ran out so we're not pouring all over your house. Is there any plants you want watered or anything like that? Oh, you want to water the trees then? If you could just put it in those two, that rose bush there and that tree. Okay. These troughs? Yeah. All right. Because this will help these plants grow crazy, give you a bunch of flowers, big old tree. The nitrates in plants go a long way. Hey. And that tree there just started growing. The first time I did. That's really cool. 
grew up with a few of those in Bowberry Phoenix when I was a kid. Bowberries? Yep. Yeah, they're good. They're fun to climb. They're fun to climb in, that's for sure. <laughs> I think we're good to plug her in. Both yep, yep, both of them work. And we can get that drain in. These two black totes, we can bring them over here and fill those up with some water. I want to do 50-50 hose water and regular water in the cool water. This thing's still working. Yep. Our mic turned on off awesome us like three or four times in the last couple of videos, so I just got to keep checking it. And I've got another backup one in case this one dies. But sometimes a rescue goes from an hour rescue to six hours. We've had one be a six hour rescue where we had something about 10 times the size of this filled with 20 plus koi. Wow. And he didn't want to drain it. We had yeah, to Because he, he still wanted to keep two or three of them. So we didn't want to drain it fully. He's like, that would have just shocked him too much. And I'm like, if you just add the Seachem Prime to it, it really wouldn't have. But we'll be nice. You know, do what you ask. It's what we're here for. Alrighty, let's fill that. And then we'll add some Seachem Prime to this stuff. I should have it either in the back of the car in one, or in one of those totes. You need the keys? Probably knowing that car, it likes to lock on us. Gotta love the new cars. Oh, yeah. Definitely great gas mileage, but... Too many electronics. Yes, I, I have some Bluetooth glitches on it to where the car is not on, but I have the keys near the car, and I'm loading stuff in and out of it, and it'll glitch the radio on for, like, two seconds. It's, it just scares you, too. Especially if you have the radio, like, cranked on from the last time you had it on, so it's like, bam! Ah! Oh, it's going down a lot quicker. Yeah, that pump there, I mean, it was my son's bro, out of a pool, swimming pool, a huge pool. And it was I, can see well, I just got this one up and running uh, today, actually, this morning for this one. And I tested it on our, a couple of our 100-gallon tanks, and it drained it in five minutes. Yeah. And this. Yeah, they're starting to pop up. Go ahead and show the people. Show the pond. Everyone wants to see the pond, not just us. Well, these will be going into a 100-gallon, separate into three different 100-gallon tanks, so they're not overloaded. And then I'm building another 300-gallon pond, aside from the 1,000-gallon pool we have up and running right now. Yeah, 1,000-gallon pool is for monsters like the arowanas, the pakus, iridescent sharks. Real quick, so people can see what we're doing. Seek time, am I crazy? This wind is insane out here in Kingman, Arizona. Do about a cap full for each one. A cap full is good for over 250 gallons on the Seachem Prime. Just that stuff religiously on anything. It chlorinates the water, it primes the water, and gets it ready for fish. And you can do it as you're adding it to a tank as you're doing a water tank. We started this with just six fish. <laughs> That's how it always starts. <laughs> so I started off with a 10 gallon tank. And I didn't expect to have over 40 tanks now with a whole fish tank spare bedroom facility for all rescues and stuff. And part of my garage is part of it. My living room has tanks throughout the entire living room. It just, it went from, oh, this is a hobby to, holy crud, this is an addiction. <laughs> and then I've kind of turned that addiction into a small business. I'm trying to hopefully expand it more for the Penley's Plentiful Pets Arizona Fish Rescue. Yeah, would like to get more down in Phoenix area, but so far it's we're mainly this area, Havasu, Bullhead, Laughlin. We go to Vegas a couple times, Prescott, Flagstaff. But we're willing to go all over this whole area for the fish, and then if anyone needs fish, we deliver them too. So if anyone's willing to get some of the fish we rescued and wants them delivered, we'll bring it right to you. All right, we can go ahead and turn this off. We're good here. I want to add some water from the pool. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this real quick so that I don't cause a mess. You good to keep that one? You can keep that one plugged in. I'm just gonna drag this over here, and I don't want to cause a mess. Oh, we're good because I'm about to hop in there and catch. So oh, we're at the point where we can go a little bit more.
Yeah, we're at the point where they're down at the... Yeah, but I gotta make sure I get at least some of this pond water in their pool. So yeah, we can turn that one off. Or they're tote. My bad, they're tool. They're tote. I gotta put some of this nasty water in here. I don't want to do a lot, but too fresh of water can shock them and kill them, and we don't want to do that. Okay. Big pump's turned off now. This one's barely glugging along. Oh. Okay, I think we're ready for me to jump in there and get these nasty guys. Yep. They're going to have to deal with fresh water. I tried. It was a little quicker than I expected. But there's Seacom Prime in there. Let's get the other nets for now. The smaller one. Yeah, these. Let me take everything out of my pockets just in case I slip. No one might. Looks like they're not koi size. So, they're flopping. It's just because there's not a lot. Yeah. I'm going to hand this to you, Adriana. Toss them in there. Oh, man, they're going to have plenty of nasty pond water in there. Whew. Try to just put the fish in there. Try not to put all that algae and stuff in there. Yeah, because we still have a 20-minute ride back to the, the fish rescue. Stinky. If anyone ever needs their pond clean, I do have a guy that cleans ponds. Also talking to the viewers, I've got a gentleman that goes all throughout California and stuff. He's trying to get me to kind of help him out getting some more pond cleanings and stuff. So. And that's this is completely understandable. When your your filter fails, there's nothing you can do. Ooh, here's two. Hard to see. Trade you. Sorry for making a little bit of a mess. Free range. Hey. So this is when we put our own pool back here. Go swimming. Knowing the lady, she'll want a garden. <laughs> Which we already have. Oh, we don't have a garden. We've got a couple little potted plants. Nothing garden-wise. Oh, this looks like a koi. Either that or a long tail goldfish. We'll find out when we get back to the facility. You really can't see these guys right now. Oof, get that on my forehead. Are we gonna start switching to the other one? Okay, go to the next tote. Yep, we're gonna yeah, go to the next tote, please, because we don't want to overload one tote. Should have been doing every other tote. Sorry, I should have said something. Yep. There's like three in this one. Oh. Oh. Thanks, guys. Yes. Got some of that right on my forehead. Anything else here? Not seeing. I think that's everyone. The last three were all grouped together real quick. I'm not seeing any white tails, anything big, and there was no babies in here that you knew of, right? I 
if we want to turn on the big pump again and see if that can drain the rest of this just to make sure oh. Well, I guess I get to take another shower today. <laughs> Maybe go to your brother's and jump in his pool. Yeah. Can we? Maybe. Perfect day for the pool, I'd say. I know, right? Beautiful weather. Finally summertime. Can we go to the actual big pool? No. Probably family. I mean, I'm not seeing anything else. Everything's rushing to this. What is that stuff on the bottom? It's algae. <laughs> see any more fishies? No, I don't see any more now. Mm. Let's get this past. Oh, it's still draining. But why is it looking like Yep, good old windy Arizona. I don't think we're pulling anything now. I think we're at the point where we're all done. Here, out of the there. Oh crud. Well then we can put some other hose uh garden fresh water hose in the garden hose water in there. Oh fresh water. And then let's turn this off, please. I think that's all done. I don't see anything else in here. Not even it's nothing tiny that would be dashing around on this algae. Nope. Nope, all done. Yay. Let me climb out of here. Oh man. Quicker than I expected. There's my mic still working. Yep. Sorry for all the wind noise, everybody. Just get that big one there and the other. Okay. okay. Rinse this off real quick because I don't want to add more into that. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, this big boy right here. Oh, you got two. There you go, big boy. And what was the other one? Uh, one of the ones with white on the nose. Awesome. Let's make sure they're going back into a pond for 125 now a tank or bigger. Great. Great. Remember, fish do not go, a goldfish like that do not go in a 55 gallon tank. For my viewers watching, please do not have goldfish in a 55 gallon tank. They need a big 125 gallon tank pond bigger. Goldfish get huge. You can pet one of the fishies, Ravy. We're going to start cleaning all this up. Hose all cleaned up.
About there, because we still got to carry that. Maybe a little lower than that. If you can pick it up, then we're good. Because you'll be on one side and I'll be on the other. Yes. Excuse me, sorry. Just gotta get the rest of these oh. extension cords, bless you. Or as a great Dracula would say, blah, blah, bless you. <laughs> this kid loves the Hotel Transylvania, so the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I do not say blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Are you Sweet. Let's grab this one. One, two, three. I'll walk backwards. For anyone who needs fish rescued, we're Penley's Plentiful Pets, Arizona Fish Rescue. For anyone who would like to donate, we do have the cash app at Money Sign, Save the Fishies. We have Zello, 928-263-9626. Thank you for watching and supporting everybody. If we need a break, let me know. Okay. Almost to the car. Got a ledge here. Here. Set it down. Let's give it a little workout for the day. Still working. Take a breather. I'm getting fat and old. <laughs> Alrighty, you ready? <laughs> Put your side in there first, yep. Throw it in, let's go get the other one. Anything else? Got it. Someone's not too bad. Yeah, not as much water. Crazy how much water weighs. I think one one gallon is eight pounds. Want your step? Thank you. Thanks for the help, Marty. Coming up. 
and walk around this. And step up. Nice little cat statue, by the way. Thank you. My lady loved it. This is my wife's aunt. She passed away a few years ago. Oh, man. She just brought it home. Keeps the rabbits from getting in the grass, I think. Well, that's good. Another great thing if you guys do your own personal haircuts. Come on, what's in the way? Both of you fit in here earlier. Let's check on them. I need to get the bubblers set up. Okay, in there. Okay, in there. Bubbler back there. Here's our bubbler set up. Yep, the bubble box. You can use it when you go fishing. Just kind of pulled it from the little fishing area. Turn it on. Put it in. Bubbles there. Bubbles there. Bubbles there. Alrighty. All good to go. Well, thank you very much, Marty. You're welcome. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for the donation. Goes back to him. Do you need to change it all? Thank you very much. Okay. And this all goes back to their own fish. They have their own bank account. This goes right into their bank account when we get back into the town. So yeah. thank you very much. Thank you everybody for watching. Pemley's Pineapple Pets, Arizona Fish Rescue, and this crazy hairdo in the wind out here. Kingman, Arizona. Thank you for following. Like, subscribe, comment. Have a wonderful day. Hey there, Matt with Penley's Pineapple Pets, Arizona Fish Rescue. What am I doing here? I think I have some fish to unload. What do you mean fish to unload? I think we rescued some fish in this big old pond, so now we got to figure out what to do with these guys. I have a, a nice little facility, my house, spare bedroom dedicated. We have a few tanks, I believe we need to get ready for quarantine for these because we don't want to put them directly into our goldfish community because they are in a they're in a nasty, dirty pond. So we want to make sure they go into a nice quarantine. quarantine tank and make sure there's no parasites or anything jumping over. So I'm gonna push this off to the side. This one. Used to it. Leave the trunk open. It's 100 degrees out. It'll evaporate in no time. Doesn't enough in my house on the fish tanks that aren't outside. All these fish tanks outside that you do see are available. We're doing a yard sale. Yes. I believe June 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th in that vicinity. Have all those tanks. One dollar a gallon. Plus the stand is another dollar a gallon. Then you can come build your whole tank with a filter, decora, fish, and get 30% off the total. So come check us out in Kingman, Arizona. Can't even see him. See one goldfish in there. Okay, we got the other one to bring in here. The other one might need help because it's heavy. Well, you know what they say, I'm a man. <laughs> Well, I didn't need help. It's just nice having volunteers and stuff raving. Makes it easier. That one is like... No. 
This is probably 20, 30 gallons of water. Mush, mush, mush. Uh oh. Oh, why do you have to be so heavy, fish? Okay, so we need to empty out the other tanks and get those ready for these guys. Okay. Looks like you're wet. I'm a little moist. 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 You don't like the word moist? I don't mind the word moist. I get all moisty with the fishies. All right. Would you like to help out? Little one. Uh oh. I need to catch the platies out of here. And you need to go toss them in the tank. Of, no, the tank where the iridescent sharks are. The big tank next to this one? In the living room under the TV. Here you go. Got this nice red tail shark we just rescued. He's going through quarantine, but will be available. If you're interested, comment. Got these platies available. Here. Trade you. <laughs> My hand's a little wet. At least there's already a little gap, so that way I can just put the fish in. Easy oh, enough. Know. Is that white guy asleep or chilling? I'm not. Raven, I am busy catching right now. <sighs> That's a beta. Is it sleeping? That's Walter White. Nope. He's just chilling. Walter White. Platinum Beta. He's available. Same thing with all these plants you're looking at in the rescue. Just one of our many tanks with a whole bunch of fish. And fish. And fish. Fish, fish, more fish. And fish. Trade you, kiddo. I think there's only a few more platies in here. Come here, Mr. Platy. You know you want to go into a bigger tank. Come on. You know you want to go to the bigger tank. Here, fishy, fishy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go in the net. Ugh, and then you jumped out. In the net. Not out the net. You're going into a big tank. Come on, Platy. Did I get you or are you hiding again? I think I got you. I think that's all of them. We're ready for some goldfishies. We'll put those in the tank. Need a Cory? We got a Cory. Need a Cory? Need a Platinum Convict? We got it. Need a Beta? Need a Jack Dempsey? We got it. Need some Goldfish? We got it. Need some Lab Cichlids? We got it. Need some Parrots? We got them. No, not the Kaka Parrots. 
Need some more platinum, so the big adult ones, we got them. Need an adult occurred. We got them. Here's that kiddo. Next, we gotta get these convicts out, actually. That's our next duty. Yeah, I said, I said duty. You know what my duty is? Taking care of the fishies. I like it. I don't want Do I put them in the tunnel tank? Yes, yes. This can jump over here, out of the way for now. No. No, I'll help you with the turtle one. You can always just ask. Yeah, all these decor pieces out so we can get the fishies out. All convicts. I see those convicts. Ooh, that is a lot of convicts. In yeah. One little tank too, a 20 gallon tank. These are all rescues that we're breeding. Ah! A fish! He just jumped into my lap. Come here, fishy. Stop it. Let's go put you in the other tank. Ugh! Please shut the door, kiddo. We're all done for now. Just put them in with the turtles. Turtles eat convicts. But they haven't been eating, eating convicts right now. Nope, we let that tank overload, wipes out a bunch of the convicts, and then the turtles eat them. It's good protein for them. And then no matter how many times you do it, you'll never kill all the convicts. So, it works. They just mass produce again. Done it for years. There's a few more. Well, actually a lot more. Woo! Is that all the rest? No. Um, we got two more convicts in there, right? Two or more, maybe. Oh, we got a pleco. We need to get the pleco out. Hello. A little baby bristle nose. Oh. There is it. One more convict in there. No catching pleco. Ha ha. All righty. Those with the turtles, and then those will be ready for goldfish for quarantine. Ah. Make sure this is plugged in still. Yep. It's on, it has a green flag. So I, okay. I'll tell you when it comes off. Green dot means it's still on. I'll forget the mic. Yep. Mic's good, Raven. Okay. okay yep. Okay. Convicts in the dirty turtle tank. We got to clean and show you a video how to clean the turtle tank. That'll be coming up soon for anyone liking, following, and subscribing. Next up, catch the big fish. Normally would have to acclimate them, but for the most part, I get all my air from outside, so it's pretty much the same temperature. You can actually see the fishies now when they're going to go in the tank. Nice, pretty fish. Can we use a bigger net? No, Raven. It's what it is, what it is. I don't feel like going out to the car and getting the other net.
Okay, this tank is at max capacity. Yeah, for the next week. This will have to go into the other tank because we're at max capacity. You don't want more than 20 inches. Well we'll, green. well, we'll see how long my mic was, how long I didn't have any mic. So for those of you watching, we have fish available. We rescued about 13 to 14 of these big old goldfish in this dirty pond. We're using Prazzy Pro. To make them feel better. Yep. Alrighty, we're gonna have to call it good because my mic's dying. We're at three, three, we've got 13 to 14 nice beautiful goldfish. They'll all be available up into the goldfish tank up there. Please show them. They'll be in that community tank and available for five to eight doll hairs. Sorry if the mic cut out and I didn't pay attention. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Once again, thank you for watching. Pen Bleeds, Plentiful Pets, Arizona Fish Rescue. We take the cash app over at the money sign, save the fishies or the Zello at the 928-263. 9626. Thank you. Have a wonderful